to upload uh, the next two lifetimes, as they're called, in the game of uh, Entwined. And uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts on it. Um, it's getting a lot more difficult, but it's still a very beautiful game, uh, very artistic. I, I love the art direction. Um, like I said last video, I, I love the way um, the controls feel. And I think they're very responsive, very good. And I love the idea of um, controlling two separate entities uh, with each one of the joysticks. Uh, the first experience I had with that was in uh, Nino Kuni, which I made play for y'all. Um, amazing game. Uh, RPG. I loved it. it. It was like playing an anime. It was pretty damn good. Um, as far as Entwines goes, um, I, I think it's great. I, I think it's following the the tradition, or not necessarily the tradition, but the, the path that was set forth by um, games like Flower, games like Journey, um, and, and many other games um, in the vast history of video games that, that really explored you know art and were very very good looking you know this game looks really good you know um it it's a treat for the eyes and one for the ears as well because the music is, is very nice um so i'm thoroughly enjoying it um it is becoming a little more difficult but it's a good difficulty um not sure if it's going to be considered a classic uh the the mechanics are kind of wearing thin already but it's a, it's a hell of a journey to watch it's it's a lot of fun to watch it's a lot of fun to play um, I hope my viewers are enjoying it. Um, so yeah, the next two to lifetimes or levels should be uploaded soon, and uh, may have some stuff with uh, MGS5. I'm still playing MGS5 in the background, by the way. Um, I mean, it looks like it's over. Like the New Yorker article makes it seem like it's over, but at the same time, you know, I've been tricked so many times by Kojima that I just I don't believe anything he says anymore. Like I just I don't believe it. So, you know, I'm, I'm over the camp if I'm just going to wait it out. Um, but yeah, the next two levels of Entwine should be up. Like I said, I, I think it's a great game. Um, you know, I, I'm reminded of a lot of things while I play it. Um, I'm reminded of, like, Anita Sarkeesian, which, like, if you've watched my channel, she's been a point, she's been something I go back to, and I kind of, like, you know, um, I, I'm trying to show games that are, you know, female-friendly, because when she stated that, it kind of upset me. Um, because I play a lot of games, you know, as women, you know, I, I've seen it, so I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Or, or something like Journey, which is really gender neutral, or Flower, which is really gender neutral. It's like, why are you attacking video games about this? Like, I can understand if you attack movies or TV or this, that, and the other, but video games are not guilty of sexism. Um, and they haven't been since Street Fighter 2, when Chun-Li can beat the crap out of Ryu. It has, it's been a while, you know what I mean? So, like, I, when I play this, I'm reminded of that, I'm reminded of that, like... It's really gender neutral. It's just about these two dragon-like things, and that's it. You know, it, there's no no gender roles at all in this game, and, and it's still a sight to behold and a sight to listen to and a sight to play. It, it's it's really good. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, especially since it was free. Um, and I'm also reminded of a uh, Microsoft E3. I think it was 2014. I'm not sure when, but they had a game that was very similar to this. And they were showing it off, and it looked beautiful. But it, it does make me question who came up with the idea first. Because with video games, um, you know, there, there's a long uh, time frame. It's like a movie. It's not like a movie or a TV show when, you know, you wait a year or it tops two, and then you get, like, the new season or whatever. Video games can take three, four, maybe sometimes five years. And, you know, you have the occasional game that ends up in development hell, as it's called, you know, on around YouTube from, like, the, the guys and gals that work in the industry, like IGN and all that stuff. They call it development hell. And when you're in that place, um, when the video games are there, sometimes it'll take, like, ten years or more, you know. Um, I've been waiting on the, the sequel to Shadow of the Colossus for approximately ten years. Um, and that's the thing about video games is that you can't really say, like, or maybe Microsoft bit that from Sony, or maybe Sony bit that from Microsoft, because I have no idea who started, you know what I mean? Um, the whole idea of this, this dragon, whatever the frick it is, <laughs> like, I don't even know what to consider entwined, but I, I have enjoyed it. Um, I should be done with it soon. I think I saw uh, that there's only nine life times, or levels, whatever you want to call them, and um, I think I'm, like, on number seven already. Um, thoroughly enjoying it. it. It does get a little tough, but it's it's really a lot of fun. And if you're watching it at home, I, I hope y'all get the the same high I get when playing it because like 
the colors and the music it takes you somewhere you know and and it, it's it's almost like a legal high um and and yeah you know uh it, it's a pretty good game i, I like it I, I would rate it pretty highly probably around the seven or eight marks right now um I, I don't think it's it's a classic you know like it's not the first of its kind for this generation so i wouldn't raise it i wouldn't rate it that high but it it, it is pretty good it, it's pretty good seven or eight so far thoroughly enjoying it um like the music like, like what they did with it I, I think it's it's pretty damn good um especially for an in-between game uh because like i said i will be playing metal gear 1 metal gear 2 and stuff like that and then when i'm done with uh the metal gear saga i, I have a bunch of games you know i've never played any of the mass effects i've never played uh la noir um i never finished red dead redemption and i know the internet loves red dead redemption so i could play that like i mean i could be here all day with ps3 and ps2 games like i have a lot like seriously <laughs> a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot uh, Deal Sex, and I've never played any of the portals, but I own them. You know, like I have a lot of games that are just like kind of sitting there. Uh, GTA 4, I never passed it. Um, so, you know, um, we'll see where the channel goes. I'm not sure if I'll be here like forever or whatever. Um, I may just end up doing MGS, and then whatever happens in between, that may be it. Um, if you notice, like if you look at my playlist, there's a lot of stuff that I started that I haven't finished. I may go back to it, I may not. Um, in the case of uh, Killer is Dead, uh, I already played uh, a level on my own just for fun, and I didn't upload that. But like nobody's watching that shit anyway, <laughs> so like who gives a shit, you know? And like uh, Saints Row the Fourth, same thing. Nobody's watching that shit anyway. Nobody's watching Dragon Ball Xenoverse, you know what I mean? Um, although I really did enjoy those games from when I played them. But the problem with being in the golden era, uh, which I imagine was a problem in, in the film industry as well. Is that there's just so much stuff coming out there's so much stuff coming out and it's good stuff and it's dirt cheap like it's so effing cheap so it's going to be impossible to play them all um but i'm going to enjoy the fact that we're in uh, a huge video game boost right now and that uh video game artists are able to, to show you know what they can create what, what um what these companies are able of creating with their software i mean some of this stuff is is amazing uh, like I said, I think I think Entwine is is pretty good. I, I would say like a seven, N not too great, but not too bad either. Seven or an eight, it, it's pretty good, you know. Um, so yeah, you know, Golden Era Gaming, uh, PS3 and PS2 games, like comment all that spiel. If not, well, I don't really, I don't really care. I'm gonna play video games anyway. It's what I do. It's what I've done for a long time. <laughs> so, be for victory.